Chair recognizes the gentleman from Illinois uh, for his questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to start off by expressing my deepest sympathies to the family of Catherine Stanley. Her death is a senseless tragedy. I have two daughters of my own, and as a father, I can't even begin to imagine the pain that her parents are going through. I am truly very sorry for your loss. I am often criticized by my supporters because I don't have a soft spot for immigrant criminals, no matter how small or how old their violations. Many argue that old convictions on drunk driving should be forgiven when determining whether someone should get deported or not. After all, they've already served their time and paid the consequences doled out by the criminal justice system. I am not one of those people who argue for leniency for criminal immigrants. If you have serious criminal activity on your record, you've given up your USA privileges, and generally speaking, I will not spend time or energy fighting for you. There are too many immigrants in this country who have never done anything wrong or never committed crimes, and I fight for them because they are part of what enriches America and what benefits all Americans. The tragedy in San Francisco has generated an important dialogue regarding our communities, the police officers we have entrusted to protect us, and our broken immigration system. The fact is he should have never been released to be on our streets again. Deported five times. Seems to me they caught him and deported him, and he should have been deported once again. But there are serious questions about just how it is the local police should go about. Nearly 300 jurisdictions have decided that they will not comply with a detainer from Homeland Security. The fact is the courts have said that they don't have to that they do not have to comply with those detainers. So what we need to figure out a way is to fix the broken immigration system that we have. We spend a lot of time talking about Mr. Lopez. We don't spend a lot of time talking about people who enter this country through other borders, JFK, LAX, and commit crimes in this country from all over the world. So if we're truly going to protect our nation, then we need to have a holistic approach to our broken immigration system. It breaks my heart, Mrs. Stanley, to see, because I could have been walking on that pier as I have with both of my daughters. And I want to make sure that it doesn't happen again. And I will continue to work with my colleagues on the other side of the aisle to fix our system, not in, piece in, not in pieces and bits, but in its totality, so that we can protect everybody in America. Because indeed, there are many people who want to fix our broken immigration system. And we need to do it in a holistic way. Had we done it, we'd have secure communities. We'd have more. We'd have verification of employment. We'd have so many other means. We'd have the ability to flush out the bad people. Why? Because we'd let the good people come forward so that they cannot hide among the good people, the good people who live in my congressional district. Now, I would like to take a moment, Mr. Chairman, uh, to go back just for one moment. I know it might seem a little just, I don't know, unnecessary. But I'd like to go back to the transcript at the end of the DHS hearing, which you presided over, um, Mr. Gowdy, on July 14, 2015. I said, this is the record, a transcript of the record of the July 14th hearing, which I stayed for the whole hearing, all three hours. Yes, sir, you did. First, thank you, Mr. Gowdy, for your excellent presiding over these hearings. I just want to, just for the record, because I think it is very important, listen to this. I want to say to you, Mr. Gowdy, I share with you the same anguish and pain as I know the Secretary does and every American should at the death of that woman. That nobody has come here to look for excuses or anything else. I mean, this is a career criminal we have on our hands, so I think we should just figure out a way. This man is not an immigrant. Immigrants come here to work hard, sweat, and toil. We should be warm and receiving. This man is a foreigner who has come to cause damage. Let's fix our broken immigration system so we can get rid of foreigners that come here to cause damage, harm, and welcome immigrants. That is my statement. I'd just like to put it in the record once again, because apparently Mrs. Vaughn didn't read it or take the time to read it. Secondly, for the record, on the floor of the House of Representatives on July 9th, quote, and this is in the record, and I'd like to put it in the record once again, because apparently Mrs. Vaughn doesn't read what actually is said in the English language that I have said. Quote, now, 
The anti-immigration wing of the Republican Party in this body and on the air is saying that Trump may have a point. After all, an innocent woman was shot in cold blood by a Mexican immigrant in San Francisco just last week. Why wasn't he deported? Why wasn't he held in jail the last time? Why is it? And you actually hear this on Fox News. Why is President Obama letting Mexicans kill beautiful young American women? As the father of two daughters, about the age of Kate Stanley, the young woman who was shot and killed, I pray every night that no one of any racial or ethnic background ever does them harm. And I can only imagine the grief that her family is feeling. When we have felons in federal custody or state or local custody warrants for drug crimes who are deported multiple times and come back, this Congress has not done its job. I'm fairly leaving states and localities to cope with decades old inaction on immigration, criminal justice, and the range of other issues. I have no sympathy for the man accused of this crime. Murder should rot in hell, end quote. Apparently, people have decided to besmirch people's reputation and take their words and exploit the death of a beautiful young American woman. And I will not simply stand here and remain silent while that happens. You may not believe that we should have, Mrs. Vaughn, a fixing of our broken immigration system, but don't exploit a young woman's death in order to receive a paycheck to put food on your table. You should find a more decent and practical way to go about earning your living. So Mrs. Stanley, I am so sorry about the death of your daughter. I assure you I have a 36-year-old and a 27-year-old, and I love them dearly. I can never imagine losing them. And I will work to make sure that we <coughs> fix this immigration system and that situations like the ones you suffer never happen again. That has been my record in the past in working with members of the minority and the majority in this House. And I take great offense at anybody suggesting otherwise. Thank you so much.